Okay, so if you're pretty good with numbers and basic math and you enjoy things like solving puzzles and riddles, well, this is the perfect little prom for you. Okay, so we have a pattern of numbers here and our first number is two thirds and then we have one and then we have three halves. What is the next number in this pattern? All right, so this is a multiple choice question and let's go take a look at our answers. So A is four thirds, B is nine over four, C is five halves and D is one half. All right, now feel free to use a calculator but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll fully explain how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, let's go and take a look at these uh, numbers. Of course, we have some sort of pattern. There's some sort of connection between these numbers. So we have two thirds, then one, and then three halves, and then what? Well, the answer is obviously one of these numbers. And even if you don't know the answer, just go ahead and take a guess. But the correct answer is B, nine over four. All right, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and a plus a 100% and a certificate of excellence because even if you didn't know it, what you just did here is solve a geometric sequence problem. Now, some of you out there might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't even know what you're talking about. I just use common sense to figure out the right answer. Well, that was fantastic. So what you were doing, though, was working on something called a geometric sequence. And if you never heard of a sequence or a series in math, well, this would be a nice, quick, basic introduction. Of course, I will uh, fully explain how we get the right answer. All right, but uh, let's go and take a look at the problem. And let's suppose you were like, all right, I don't know what to do here, uh, but I am going to take a guess because Mr. YouTube Math Man says, never leave a multiple choice question blank. Uh, indeed, that is my advice to you, unless you know uh, you are going to get penalized for a wrong answer. Now, some tests uh, are like that, like the uh, SAT or ACT. I'm not up to speed 100% on their latest policies, but uh, it's pretty typical that uh, a lot of exams like this, that you will get um, points taken off, deducted for wrong answers. So, you know, in those situations, sometimes it is better to not even take a guess. But in this particular uh, problem, I'm not going to penalize you. So you just take a guess, right? So let's take a look at this option and say, all right, well, maybe it's four thirds. Uh, maybe you're looking at these numbers here. Maybe what's going on here is we take a one, we add it to the three, we get a four, then we take this one, we add it to a two, we get a three, four thirds looks pretty good to me. So you just take a, you know, take a chance. Unfortunately, that is wrong. So the only way to figure out this problem is to know what you're doing. All right, but uh, once you see the solution here and what's going on, you'll be able to see that indeed, you know, uh, you could have used the answers to kind of check this work. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. But before we do, I need to introduce uh, uh, some of you out there. Some of you may not know these terms in mathematics, and that is sequence and series. Now, uh, we are talking about a pattern of numbers. Of course, this is our problem right here. And uh, this type of situation in math is referred to as a sequence, okay? But this is closely related to its cousin uh, in math called a series. And this is something that you typically study at a more advanced level, but uh, this is not too complex. Matter of fact, it's downright easy to understand. So let's go ahead and get some basic knowledge about sequence and series. And of course, we'll apply it to our problem here. All right, so what is a sequence and what is a series? Well, there's all different sorts of uh, sequences and series. But in a real basic sense, a sequence of uh, a sequence in math is just a, basically just a sequence of numbers, okay, separated by commas. Now, these numbers here are called terms. So this is like the first term, the second term, the third term of this particular sequence. Now, um, when you study sequences and series, uh, you oftentimes, well, not oftentimes, uh, a lot of the sequences and series that you're going to deal with uh, are 
basically classified in two different types. Okay, now there's other types, but these are the most common. And that is called arithmetic sequence and arithmetic uh, series and geometric sequence and geometric series. So let me go ahead and just first uh, make this distinction between a sequence and series right now. All right, so here we have a pattern of numbers, right? So one, three, five, seven. If I take these terms in this sequence and we start adding these up, that is a series, okay? So a series is simply the sum of a particular sequence, okay? So this is a, uh, you know, uh, something not to be confused because when students or people talk about sequence and series, you know, they kind of confuse these two. But just remember, a series, we add up uh, the terms in a sequence. All right, now here, our problem uh, doesn't have to do with a series, but I thought I could just throw this in uh, because it's just good, uh, you know, knowledge to know in mathematics what a series is. Now, what we're looking at here is what? What type of sequence is this? Well, we have to study how the terms of these numbers of this particular pattern, how these numbers are being separated, right? So we can look at this and like, well, how do we get from one to three? All right, so somebody might be saying, hey, Mr. Two, two Math, man, just add a two. Well, that's pretty good, but we have to make sure that uh, indeed that is the rule, okay, how you get to the next number in the sequence. So let's just gonna test that. So if uh, one plus two gets us three, three plus two, oh, that gets us five, five plus two gets us, that gets us seven. So if I wanted the next uh, number or the next term in this sequence, I would just add this number two, okay? Now, uh, sequences that are separated by the same common uh, number, okay, in other words, we're just adding the same number over and over again, this is called an arithmetic sequence, okay, and this right here, if we just kind of add all these things up right here, is an arithmetic series. Okay, so just kind of fancy mathematical terminology, but I think it's, um, you know, something that all of you out there, even if you only have basic math skills, can understand. All right, now let's take a look at another type of sequence and series, and that's this one right here. So 2, 4, 8, 16, and on and on and on. So what's going on between these numbers? Well, here, if we just look at the first two numbers, 2 and 4, we might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, just add 2. Well, indeed, you could be correct, but if we just add 2, if that's the rule, uh, our next term is going to be 4 plus 2 or 6. Well, you can see that's not what we have. We have an 8. But we can get to four um, by adding, we can go from two to four by adding two or by multiplying by two, okay? So let's check that rule, okay? Well, uh, two times two is four, four times two is eight. Well, that's working. Eight times two is 16 and on and on and on. All right, so this type of sequence is called a geometric sequence and the terms are, are basically separated by a, a common ratio. Basically, we're multiplying uh, by the same number to get to the next term in the sequence, okay? All right, now, of course, now if we add up all the terms in a geometric uh, sequence, we have a geometric series. All right, now, again, we don't have to discuss uh, series or uh, arithmetic or geometric series uh, anymore, you know, in this particular problem because our problem is a sequence, but this is just good, basic, good old-fashioned math knowledge that I think, uh, you know, you should be aware of just in case you were not. All right, so let's get back to our problem and knowing a bit uh, about uh, geometric and arithmetic sequences. Let's see if we can figure this thing out. Okay, so we have two-thirds and, we, and then we went from one, two-thirds, then one, and then three-halves. So uh, maybe this is an arithmetic sequence. Well, if it is, uh, let's see how we went from a two-thirds to a one. Well, maybe we added one-thirds because two-thirds plus one-third is what? Well, we're going to add the numerators because we have the same denominator. That's three. Two plus one is three. Three over three is one. So that works, right? Two-thirds plus one-third is one, but we have to check that. Check this on the next term in this sequence. So that means that one plus, okay, this one-third should get us to a three-halves. So let's check that. Okay, so we're going to take this one, we're going to add one-third, so that's one plus one-third, or the mixed uh, number fraction, one to one-third, right? So when you have a fraction of one and one-third, that literally means one plus one-third. Okay, so one and one-third, we can change this to the improper fraction. Three times uh, one is three, plus one is four-thirds. So, uh, one plus one-third is four-thirds, okay? And you can see here 
Uh, that's not going to work for us because the next term in this uh, sequence is 3 halves. All right, well, uh, we have some other options here, so this definitely doesn't appear to be an arithmetic sequence. So let's see about geometric, okay? So uh, how can we go from 2 thirds to 1? Now, if we think in terms of uh, geometric, what we're talking about is uh, 2 thirds being multiplied by some number, okay, got us to 1. Now, if you can't figure that, uh, figure out what number that is, maybe you're just like, ah, I'm a little confused, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, you could use basic, basic algebra to figure this out. So two thirds, right, was multiplied by uh, some number x. You're gonna take two thirds, you're gonna multiply by some number x, and the answer is going to be one. So if you know how to solve this basic equation right here, two thirds x is equal to one, you can figure out what that value is. Okay, so how do we solve this basic uh, one step linear equation, all we have to do is multiply both sides of the equation by three halves, right? So three halves times two thirds is gonna be what? Six over six, which of course is one, uh, one x or x, okay? But again, we have to multiply the other side of the equation by three halves, so one times three halves is three halves, okay? So that's what we need to multiply by to uh, uh, go from two thirds to one, right? So x, uh, our number here is we're going to multiply by three halves. Okay, so now we can kind of test this uh, geometric uh, uh, sequence. Maybe this is uh, the answer. So let's go take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now I kind of have to always sneak that in. Some of you always saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you take too much time talking about subscribing to your channel, blah, blah, blah. Listen, I get that. I understand that you are you know, just so excited to see how this thing plays out, this particular problem. But in all seriousness, I need your help, okay? Uh, because there's two words that I like to embrace. Uh, one is help, and the next is goal, okay? So you got to have some goals, and you need some help to get to your goals. We all do, you know, uh, whatever that might be. So look for mentors, look for teachers, look for people to help you out, okay? Now, if your goal is to learn math, well, get some help, okay? If you are struggling in a particular area, always start with your teacher, but if you need more help beyond what your teacher can offer, you gotta be careful, by the way, who you ask for help from, okay? Make sure it's someone that knows what they're talking about. But if you wanna learn math from me and really get my best full instruction, then check out my math course, uh, my full main math courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. And what we're talking about here is sequence and series. And for those of you that want a little, to know more about sequence and series, I got two, uh, two or three different courses you can check out. The first is my, well, actually there is like four. So from those of you that just wanted to kind of get a basic intro to this, I think this is, uh, I have a couple uh, section on, in my Math Foundations course. You can also check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can also check out my Algebra 2 course, and this is uh, obviously more advanced or my pre-calculus course, right? All of those, I get into patterns of numbers and uh, particularly uh, sequence and series. It's a big, big topic in math. But anyways, I need your help to continue to grow this channel. And the best way you can support uh, what I do is to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thanks for giving me a little bit of time to tell you uh, the reasons uh, why I make these videos now. Back to the problem. All right, so we figured out that to go from two thirds to one, if we multiply two thirds by three halves, and let's just test that real quick. Two thirds times a three halves, right, is gonna be what? Well, we're gonna multiply fractions, so two times three is six, three times two is six, so six over six is one. So indeed that works. Now let's go ahead and take this one, multiply it by three halves and see if we end up with a three halves, right? So one times three halves. Well, hopefully you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I think this is working. I think you are correct, right? So we have three halves. So how do we get to the next number uh, in this sequence? Well, all we have to do is take this term, uh, three halves, the previous term, and multiply it by another three halves. So three halves times three halves is gonna give us what? Nine over four, all right? So that is nine fourths. All right, so hopefully uh, those of you that even figured this out in the beginning, 
at least now you have some basic understanding of uh, geom uh, geometric and arithmetic sequence and series, just in case you didn't know. And for those of you that weren't able to figure this out, you know, math is, uh, you know, it's just basically don't, it's not um, something that you can't learn, okay? You know, if you get frustrated, like, oh, I can't figure that out, never, ever, ever tell yourself that you're not smart enough. Okay. I'm not smart enough. There's no way I can figure this out. That's never tell yourself that. That's really, <laughs> first of all, it's not true. Okay. Uh, now, of course, we all have different levels of aptitude, and intelligence on, on certain things. Yes. I'm not trying to say that, but indeed you can learn this stuff. Okay. But what it takes to learn math is one, you need a lot of full instruction. You need to be committed. You got to work hard. And it also takes a lot of time. All right. So there's no way you can just kind of rush through this, rush through and learn a lot of math quickly. Okay. And if uh, you're looking at programs or people that are telling you that you need to stay away from that because that is going to frustrate you. You're going to be like, all right, I took this course, Mr. YouTube Math Man, learn algebra in 30 minutes. Well, you know what? That's not going to work. You can get a basic, basic introduction, some maybe uh, sense of what algebra is about, but to truly learn, a, let's say like algebra, first year algebra, that is like a full year course. So it does take time. And again, if you need help, you know where to look. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.